All too often, it seems productivity numbers are misunderstood. Some believe that they can run a printer at maximum published speed and still have acceptable, sellable quality. Maybe, but more likely, maybe not. So what's one to do when shopping for a new printer and faced with a range of square foot per hour speeds? There are a few factors to consider. Print quality. Determining the print mode that produces the required quality level should be your first objective. Then it's simply a matter of timing consecutive prints to come up with an accurate productivity number. Print area utilization. I mentioned that manufacturers quote a square foot per hour speed based on utilizing the maximum print area. Since many shops typically print full-size 4x8 boards, it's not just a matter of dividing the square foot per hour spec by 32 square feet and arriving at a boards per hour productivity number. Does the board even cover the entire printable area? Here's why that's important. If a printer is capable of a maximum print area of 5 by 10 feet or 50 square feet, but you only print 4 by 8 foot boards or 32 square feet, you are only going to realize 64% of the published productivity number. Additional overheads. This overhead is the time it takes for everything to happen between hitting the print button and the actual start of ink being deposited on the substrate. It can be a one-time event or may occur for every single board being printed. So, now that we know what's involved, how will we measure real productivity? Simple, by measuring it. This is the OSE Arizona 6170 XTS with a top speed of 1668 square feet per hour based on the maximum print area. We're now going to show you how that translates to 33 4 by 8 foot boards per hour of real productivity and at our top speed, which, incidentally, does provide a suitable quality level for many jobs. For this demonstration, we will show both the overhead at the start of the print job and then a sequence of printing eight boards so we can get an accurate productivity number. Here we go. We've just hit print and the time it takes to move the gantry to begin printing a dual origin setup is just over 17 seconds. On the OSE Arizona 6100 series, this amount is consistent, regardless if it is two copies or 2,000 copies. We're now going to measure just the time to actually print eight full-size sheets using dual origin print mode. We'll be measuring the time from the first print pass to the last curing pass. Incidentally, the dual origin mode is most effective since while one board is printing, the operator can freely unload and prepare the next board without stopping the printer. And start. So, we're off and running, and printing eight boards will take less than 15 minutes. For the sake of time, We'll speed up the video, but you'll get the idea. Okay, we've now completed printing eight consecutive boards, and the final curing pass is completed. Our print time is 14 minutes and 33 seconds, or 1 minute 49 seconds per board. Now remember, this did not include the 17 seconds of overhead to begin printing. For any dual origin job on the OSE Arizona, you only need to add this overhead once, and not for every single board printed, as you may on other devices. So there you have it. To determine what the real productivity is, I encourage you to use a method like this with any flatbed printer you're considering purchasing. Ah!